So, 13, 14, and 15 look kind of similar to what we just did. However, there isn't a dot exactly on the Y line. So we're going to combine it with the two previous things we did. But, of course, it says write the equation of my line. So we know that we have to start Y equals MX plus B. <clears throat> This time we can't just pick out the B because it's not in an exact spot. We could maybe guess what it is, but we're going to find it exactly. So we're going to find our M first again. I'm going to find my slope. Just going to count it out. And so I'm starting here and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 up and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over, right? Up 3 over 5. So what we're going to do is like we had on the other one where we use the point and a slope to find the equation of the line. We know the slope is 3 fifths. We're going to pick one of these two points. It doesn't matter which one you're going to use. So the coordinates of one of those two points, which one do you want to use? Let's use the 3. Or that one? Oh. Which dot? Let's use the, um, the one to the left. The one to the left. So we're using this one. This is at 1, 2, 3, 4 back and 1, 2, 3 up. So negative 4, 3 is the ordered pair that goes with that point. <clears throat> so now this is going to be like we did two questions ago. We know that y equals... 3 fifths x plus some number b that we're going to find, and we're going to find it by using the x and y value from that point we wrote down. So we know this is the x and this is the y. So I'm going to put negative 4 in for x, 3 in for y. And this one you probably really will want to use your calculator on because the fractions aren't going to come out very nice. <laughs> so simplifying this, 3 is going to equal... We need to take negative three-fifths, or positive three-fifths times negative four. So three-fifths times negative four. Twelve-fifths. Negative twelve-fifths. Negative twelve-fifths. Plus B. And then in order to solve that, we need to move this over here. So we're going to add our twelve-fifths, right? So you're going to take three plus twelve-fifths. Twenty-seven fifths. Twenty-seven fifths. That's going to be the number that you're going to use for the B value. So, I now know my slope. I now know my B value. I can write the equation of the line. Y is going to equal three fifths X plus twenty-seven fifths. Okay, so combine the last two things that we just got done doing into a longer problem. You know how they always like to do that. Now the next one just tells us two points that are on the line, but it doesn't draw the graph out for us, right? So we want to find the equation of the line. We know it has to be y equals mx plus b. If we don't have the graph and we can't count out what the slope is, then we have to use that slope formula that we used on those previous pages. Remember that formula that looked like this? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. got to use that formula if we don't have the graph and we can't just count it. Counting is a lot easier, but you know they like to practice using our formula. <laughs> So we said, and this is our first point, so that would be our x1 and our y1. This is our second point, so that'd be our x2 and our y2. So our y value from point 2 is y2, y2 oh. which would be negative 4, oh, yeah. minus the y value from point 1 is... Y2 
two. No. Nope. Or am I going? The y value from one? point one. So y one. Y one. Well, is the one, one right? One. Yeah. Yep. One. On the bottom, we want the x value from point two. Which is going to be two. Minus the x value from point one. Four. Which is four. minus four. Minus a negative okay, four. Then. Minus again? Yep. Because we're going to subtract a negative. Okay, so minus four. four. Okay, so when we take negative four minus one, we get. You get five. Negative five. Negative five. And when we do two minus a negative four, we get. Minus two. Two. Two minus four? Two minus a negative four. Oh, two minus a negative four. Six. You get six because minus a negative we change to a plus. So that makes that two plus four, which is six. So all that work we found our M. It was a whole lot easier to count, but nope, they made us practice the formula. So we know that Y equals negative five, six, X plus some number B. Now, we can use either of those two points, point one or point two, in for our x and y. It doesn't matter which one you pick. What do you want to put in for x? Let's put in two. You're going to do the two, okay? If you use the two for x, what are you going to put in for y? Two. Two. Four, negative four. Negative four. So you said, I'm going to use this point and I'm going to put those in for my x and my y. So now I need to solve that. So negative 4 is going to equal, you have to do negative 5, 6 times 2. Negative 5 thirds. Negative 5 thirds plus some number b then. And then I'm going to do what? Are you going to be, move the negative 5 thirds over? And make it a positive. Positive. So you're going to do negative 4 plus 5 thirds. So which is going to be negative 7 thirds. Negative 7 thirds then is your B value. So now you know your m value, you know your b value, you can write the equation of your line. So what's the answer going to be? y equals... y equals... 5 6 Negative 5 6 Negative 5 6 Minus... What goes thirds. behind your negative 5 6? A, x. x. Minus seven thirds. Don't forget that x. <laughs> There's my equation then. All right, number 15. Back to where we have a graph. So that one's a little bit easier because we can just count our slope. We want to find that equation for that line. So we're going to start out. Is that what you want me to say? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to find our M first. Our M is going to be... It's going to be four-thirds. We're down four and over. Down four, so it's going to be... Oh, yeah, negative. negative four thirds, right? So negative four thirds is my M. Okay, what am I going to do next? Then we are going to check my notes. <laughs> <laughs> am I going to name any number? 
You're going to use one of these two dots. Oh, yeah. yeah one of those two <laughs> it has dots. to be one of those two, but it can be either one of those two. Which one of those two dots do you want to use? Let's do the um, far right one. Yeah, this one? one? Okay. What would be the ordered pair that goes with that point? Um, two, oh, one, two. Five? This is going to be a five. Five and then five. One, two, three. I'm calling five again. I'm just going here. So I'm going five. Oh, five, two. two. Right? Because in our ordered pair, the X comes first and then the Y. Right? It's always the X and then the Y. So we know the slope. We know a point. We now want to plug them in so we can do our equation. So what are we going to have? We're going to have two, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the y. The y is two. Yeah, the y is two equals um, negative four thirds x, which is going to be 5, plus b. Plus b. So, simplifying that. So, we need to, 2 equals negative 4 times 5. Okay, two, 2 equals negative 20 thirds. Plus B. And so then in order to solve that, we're going to... Put the 20 thirds X. There's no X because we put the 5 in for the X. <laughs> okay. We got rid of the X this time because okay. we put the 5 in its spot. So we're going to move the 20 thirds over to the left and it's going to be a positive. So it's going to be 2 plus 20 thirds. Yep. Two plus twenty. So my B is going to be twenty-six thirds. Twenty-six thirds. Okay. So I know my M. I know my B. I still have to write the equation. I read it room. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to write it underneath my graph. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be Y equals negative four thirds plus twenty six thirds. Now look at that what you wrote down. Y equals negative four thirds. And what goes behind the negative four X. thirds? X plus twenty six thirds, right? Yep. Don't forget that. the X on your answer. Yep. <laughs>